grade 4 math number 12, comparing numbers by subtracting. When you need to compare two items, all you need to do is a little subtraction and you'll be able to find the difference. That's why the answer in subtraction is called difference. Look at this. In the year 2011, the population of Dublin, Ireland was 527,612. The population of Galway, Ireland was 75,530. How many more people lived in Dublin than Galway? Well, we take the Dublin population and then we put the Galway one underneath it, we subtract, and then we get the difference. 2 take away 0 is 2. 1 take away 3, we can't, so we borrow from the 6, it becomes a 5, and it gives that a 1. 11 take away 3 is 8. 5 take away 5 is 0. 7 take away 5 is 2. 2 take away 7, we can't do it, so we borrow 1 from the 5, it becomes a 4. It gives the 1 to the 2. 12 take away 7 is 5, and then 4 just drops down. So, this is a much smaller city than Dublin. Dublin is a very, very large city in Ireland. There are 452,082 more people in Dublin than there are in Galway. Okay, now let's try this one. The total square miles of land in the Philippines, which is in the Pacific Ocean, is 115,831. That's the square miles of the Philippines. The total square miles of Indonesia, which is just south of it, is 741,96 square miles. That's Indonesia. How many more square miles of land does Indonesia have than the Philippines? Well, we take the number for Indonesia and we subtract the number of square miles from the, of the Philippines and we get the difference of how many more square miles Indonesia is than the Philippines. 6 take away 1 is 5, 9 take away 3 is 6, 0 take away 8 we can't, so we borrow from the 1 here, it becomes a 0, and we give the 1 to this, and it becomes a 10. 10 take away 8 is 2, this is a 0, and we can't take 5 away, so we borrow from the 4, it becomes a 3, and now the 0 becomes a 10. 10 take away 5 is 5, 3 take away 1 is 2, and 7 take away 1 is 6. So, Indonesia is 625,265 more miles of land than the Philippines has. Okay? Now let's look at this one. We've got the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower in Paris, France is 986 feet tall. The Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor is 151 feet from the base to the torch. How much taller is the Eiffel Tower than the Statue of Liberty? We take the height in feet of the Eiffel Tower and we take the height in feet of the Statue of Liberty and we subtract. 6 take away 1 is 5, 8 take away 5 is 3, and 9 take away 1 is 8. So the Eiffel Tower is 835 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty. Did you know that France gave us the Statue of Liberty as a gift? Yeah, they did. It came over in ships on, uh, in pieces and was put together and built in the harbor. The Great Wall of China is 13,171 miles long. The border between the United States and Canada is 3,987 miles long. How much longer is the Great Wall of China than the U.S. and Canadian border? Well, we take the amount of the Wall of China miles and we subtract the amount of the border from it. So this is the wall in miles and this is the border in miles. Okay? One take away seven, we can't. So, we borrow 1 from the 7, it becomes a 6, and we give it to the 1's place. Now we have 11 take away 7 is 4. 6 take away 8, we can't, so we borrow 1 from this 1, it becomes a 0, and we give it to the 6, and now it's 16. 16 take away 8 is 8. 0 take away 9, we can't do it, so we borrow 1 from this 3, it becomes a 2, 
it gives 1 to the 0, which is now a 10. 10 take away 9 is 1. 2 take away 3, we can't, but if you look, we have 12 take away 3. What's 12 take away 3? 12, 11, 10, 9. 12 take away 3 is 9. So, the Great Wall of China is 9,184 miles longer than the U.S. and Canadian border. We're not counting Alaska, just across the main part of the U.S. from Washington State to Maine, straight across like that, not counting Alaska. So that's how you compare things by subtracting. You take the two amounts and you subtract the smaller amount from the larger amount, and then you know the difference between the two items. That wasn't hard, was it? I'll see you next video. Bye.